exactly is it hot in here? So, I'm trying to get in slowly, but surely, without, that feels so good. Y'all just don't know. Okay. Uh, he would say things like that to me. He would say things like, we're not married. I don't owe you nothing. You're not obligated to me. I'm not obligated to you. You know, just because he didn't want to, you know, do what a man is supposed to do in a relationship. Like, he's like, you know, you need to take care of you. And I need to see that you can take care of you. Baby boy, I've been taking care of me for, like, years. Like, I've been in the same townhouse with whatever as it sounds for years. Like, don't come at me like I'm not being sufficient. I'm going to do any and everything to make sure I'm good. You know what I'm saying? And the people around me, I'm working on making sure that I can be more consistent in being good for them. That's what that's what this is, you know. I'm living I'm living a good life, don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? I have a lot to be grateful for even through my transgressions or whatever, you know. I'm not going to play myself like that. It's just, you know, uh, you know when you're supposed to not, you know when you're supposed to stop talking to someone and then you keep talking to them. You know, you know, I, I can't sit here and be like, there wasn't red flags, you know, and, but after, you know, me constantly reaching out and him saying like he was hurt and manipulating me you know, using what I told him, you know, just in a, even in the most basic thing of if I say my toothbrush is green, you know, we get in an argument, he gonna say my toothbrush, that's why your toothbrush is green. Because you do things like whatever, you know. I only told you that to be transparent so that you can get to know the type of person I am because there's a lot more to me, even good and bad to me. And if you do this with this little bit of information that I'm giving you, well, then... You know? And being that also that my mind isn't at the strongest that it could be, you know, uh due to, you know, recent events of me having a, a meltdown, you know, I am more susceptible to suggestions, you know, of, of others or to impressions or to caring as much what other people think, okay? Um, this hair ain't going nowhere, so I don't care if I tuck it behind my ear, it ain't going nowhere, it's like five, Getting the parents I was one. But I look like Beethoven's like great, great somebody. But anyways, what I was trying to say was, you know, um, I think it's really inappropriate, you know, um, to take advantage of people in their emotions. Furthermore, I don't like the blame game. I don't like the tit for tat type of thing. Like, I've done it, but I don't like it. And it's like, okay, you go tit for tat with him. Then you say, oh, it's over. You gonna, We gonna leave it here. We talk about it. We discuss it. Then you wake up to a text message from this dude acting like a whole female. Excuse me, you won't even say that. You wake up with text messages talking about some, oh, it really made me feel some type of way because you pushed me away. Because there was a situation where I physically pushed him. Not like that, but like kind of like, uh, I don't like that. I don't like how you're touching on my body. And so I could have verbalized it, but we all have those moments, you know what I'm saying? Where you're in the middle of something and you're like, no. And you push them. It was like one of those moments. Yeah. And he took it some type of way. 
But it's like, you ever meet someone who is looking for a reason? Someone who is looking for an out, but don't know how to just out, walk out, or out themselves? I don't know what you want to call it. But, so they go to for Ted, like, so they don't have to be the reason why, you know, the correlation between you ended and it be on you. I know I'm going through some things. I know I stress the point when I'm at my weakest. Doesn't mean I'm wrong. It means that I overly exercise my righteousness, which will push someone away. But if someone is doing you wrong and you're being overly righteous, like, I mean, the point gets missed. Doesn't matter who's right or wrong. And if you got to do all of that, maybe you just got to leave them alone. Maybe I have to just leave them alone because I'm talking to myself, you know? So at least at this point until I upload this video. So it's just, you know, it's just like uh, having, you know, conversations with myself. I'm just like, oh, wow, girl, you knew better. You knew better. You didn't choose to do better. Who do you have to blame? Nobody but yourself. You know, with the tender, him being on the tender, uh, yeah. I really just got in this bath just to let y'all know, so don't nobody try to do me for the sake of my back hurting. And not want to take no pain pill. There's something though that is itching my back. Figure it out. But anyways, yeah, so the manipulation game is serious. And he was on Tinder and I'm very passive aggressive, but I wouldn't come off as passive aggressive because I'm so, because I'm already a dominant woman. Like I'm already an alpha woman. Like, is it possible to be an alpha and be passive aggressive? I don't know. But in when I, because I'm a woman, you know, I can be very passive, you know, and even if I'm leading the pack, I can still have femininity about me or have a, a certain character where a lot of people think I, I like a lot of people think I speak on like a lot of people think I catch everything right and I don't catch everything but there are some things that you thought I didn't catch that I did catch so when you realize when I make you realize that I didn't caught on and I'm not trying to ca play catch with you no more. You want to act like, oh my goodness, like I'm crazy because you was playing soccer this whole time. When maybe we've been playing football, potato, tomato, American football, football. We, we both in this together. That's what I'm trying to get at, okay? And for someone, first of all, for someone to wear fake jewelry and as a man, you're sicko. I don't care. I'm not saying like to, that to be so gold diggerish. That was a dig, you know. But you know, um, you gotta have a lot of confidence to really walk out in front of other men and not worry about if your jewelry gonna be tested. I should have knew then on some like millennial type stuff. But other than that, like you gotta be a real certain type of individual. To say that I'm cheating on you when we were never together, like, and then you sit here and tell me we're not married, we're not obligated, this, that, and the third, and then I will go out and I party and I happen to have a physical exchange with someone just randomly, and then I wouldn't say like I hit it off like with the dude, but he's still around, you know, as a friend or whatever you want to call them, you know, but only because imagine like maybe for like two weeks, you know, or three weeks, you got somebody here and 
But even within having them, they've been acting funny since the beginning, and you've been told to be patient. Well, now we're going into week three or week four, and, you know, it's not letting up. Now we seven weeks in, and, I, well, I'm supposed to just, you know how my schedule is, and, and just, you know, keep saying, like, but at first you had said, you know, have patience with you. Now you just saying it's not, it's it's not gonna change. Like, and, and scheduling and in in involving me in this person's life. Like, I ended up crying one time at the door. Like, why why you can't take me with you? You know what you got to hide? You know my, you know I talked to my family. I think I didn't got bit y'all. Something bit my back or something. Something going on over here. And when I talk to my family, you know, I'm talking to women who are wiser than me and men who are wiser than me. And I'm getting advice and I'm asking like a man, like, you know, am I am I being distorted with, within my thoughts of, you know, asking my man to pick me up from work? Or, you know, he would complain if he went and got me juice out the store, you know, uh, when I first met him, there was a situation where my car wouldn't work and I needed uh, some money for some plan B or whatever. Uh, I asked him if I could borrow the money, but if not, I told him, I said, it's cool. I'm going to go walk back here anyways because, you know, I got some money elsewhere and I got to go get that money from elsewhere, you know, back at the house, i.e. And but he still did it. And I offered like over three, four, I could have thought five times to give him his money back. And he just wanted to hold it over my head. I did this, 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 and this for you. Sweetie, you took me out on a date. Like you supposed to take me out on a date. And to be told like, I don't know what is going on in modern days, nowadays, women just think men supposed to do for them. Uh, I didn't, I didn't say that, but yeah, I want a breadwinner. I want my man to make, you know, even if I make more than him, but typically, I'm not gonna lie, I want my man to make more than me. It's sexy, it's appealing. It lets me know he that, he that one, and I wanna make more money than all the women around him. You know what I'm saying? I want us to be some breadwinners together. You know, uh, I want for my man to buy me a house and pay for the house, you know what I'm saying? And I don't mind paying the electricity bill or 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 whatever you have it and it's it's honestly like nowadays I don't even think people take into the fact that women just recently got their rights not too long ago we in the workforce yeah we're domineering right now but we still have so many injustices in pay and pay grade like you couldn't honestly say like go 50 50 with a man and you you get paid more than I do in certain instances there are women that are exceptional and get paid more than their man you know what I'm saying and a lot of women do take care of their men but I'm, I'm talking about not those situations I'm talking about my situation you feel what I'm saying you did what I'm putting down so to me it's just like you know I'm happy to get yourself out the running you know when he was hitting up my phone, my little Wi-Fi phone or whatever, or, you know, uh, while I was put away, um, he was sending me, like, pictures of his body and things like that. You know, it wasn't just like, hey, how you doing? It was like, I miss you. Here go a flick. You know, it wasn't nothing, you know, and it just shows, you know, when people don't care about your genuine welfare, you know, it shows what their intentions are because that's all they have to show to you. So with that being said, like, comment, rate, subscribe, comment down below. We a family and I need y'all. To all my supporters, I just want to say thank you. To all my haters, I just hope that, you know, one day y'all can let all that hate go and become a supporter. No negative energy. Bye. Girl, stop playing.